Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel. My name is Rob and today we're going to go over how I rigged and animated this in SOLIDWORKS with settings in PhotoView 360 in order to make a convincing animation of this siren or rotating beacon as it's called in the industry. Anyway, whatever you call it, we're going to animate it in SOLIDWORKS and it's going to look really cool. So if you haven't noticed, I've started this new ongoing project on my social media, hashtag CAD model of the day. And it is as the name implies, I spend about 30 to 45 minutes per day making a model in SOLIDWORKS, but I'm going to open it up to pretty much any software, but it's mostly going to be SOLIDWORKS. I made this in response to people who ask how I can get better in SOLIDWORKS. And that's just through practice, but I'm hoping that once I get a real big collection of these going, there will be a ton of examples that people can try out for themselves and really sharpen up their skills. So be sure that you're following me on Instagram and Twitter, but I'll also be posting these to the YouTube community post. But the best place for these is Instagram because I can put the video there and I can put multiple screenshots without any limits. So if you really like this project, Instagram is the place to go. Follow me on both Twitter and Instagram at SolidWorks Nerd. And with that, let's get started. So here I have the beacon modeled. So I'm not gonna go over how I modeled this unless someone really wants it. So if you want it, uh, leave a comment or something and if there's enough interest, I'll do it. Um, but I have this modeled and I have this rigged up in an, a, an assembly with a concentric mate such that it can rotate freely like that. Um, animating this, oops, control Z. So animating this was pretty simple. Going to my motion study, see if we can pull this up, all right, there you go. Yeah, all I did was apply this rotary motor. So if I go to edit feature, just to this face here, you can have it rotate any which way you want. But what is important is the speed. I set it to 60 RPM. And that number is important because that means it makes one revolution per second. And seeing as this animation is exactly one second long, that means that it makes one rotation exactly when the animation is finished. That means I can loop it indefinitely and it looks really, really smooth without any jittering. So that's that. So if I hit calculate, you can see it's spinning just like that. And I could save it out right here if I want, but I'm going to do something a little bit more interesting and I'm going to use PhotoView 360 to render this. So PhotoView 360 is an add-on or an add-in. So you can go to your add-ins and tick that on. Most seats of SOLIDWORKS has that available, but if not, that, might, that means that it's just not part of your package, but most seats of SOLIDWORKS do. Okay, so we have PhotoView 360 added in. Just to see kind of where we're at, we can actually just go to Render Tools and say Integrated Preview, and that will do a draft quality render of what the image is gonna look like. So if we wait just a moment, it should appear in my screen here any second now. It's working on it. And there you go. Right now it looks pretty good, but um, as you can tell, the siren doesn't appear to be on at all. And also it's a little too bright in the environment. So first let's turn the siren on. And all I did to do that was I created a point light. So you can right click on one of these and say add a point light. But I'm just gonna unsuppress this one or say on in photo view 360. And then you can see the uh, preview updates. And if you wanna see how this was set up, if I do edit point light, okay, you can see what the brightness is set to to get that effect. Um, if I go into SOLIDWORKS, yeah, brightness is just set to one. And basic, I have it at zero, zero with a height of three, which puts it right in the center there, right in the center of this uh, reflector bit. So that's perfect. All right, so it's looking pretty cool and I can actually render this right now if I want to, but I think it'd look more impactful if the environment was dark. So I'm gonna go to my primary photo view 360 lighting, right click on that and say edit. And the background brightness, instead of being 900 uh, or, or 0.900 watts per square meter, I used uh, 50 thousandths of that. Okay, that's looking pretty cool. So then the last step, uh, yeah, the preview went away, but that's just because it's the integrated preview. I'm gonna turn that off. 
But the last step is to finally save it out when, once you're satisfied with what the integrated preview looks like. So um, yeah, always remember to save. And then go to save animation. Uh, you're gonna set your aspect ratio. And that, that looks fine. Frames per second, I'll set that to 60 so it's extra super smooth. And here's uh, where people get tripped up. You gotta change the renderer from SOLIDWORKS screen to Photo View 360. And just because I prefer them, I change it to MP4. So you can see I was playing around with that before. And so, you know, we'll just do that. Hit save. And it'll look like it'll do nothing, but just give it a second. This is a pretty intensive process. So you'll see a window come up here in a second saying that it is rendering each frame. So yeah, here's the thing. Um, the higher the frame rate, the, the longer it will take. What it's doing is it's moving the assembly bit by bit in accordance with your animation. And every frame, it runs the renderer, the Photo View 360 renderer which can take you know 30 seconds to a minute or even more if you have insane settings so consider how much time you have to work with if you're trying to save out an animation just like this one um, i just had it at the basic settings it looks really good and yeah we'll let that turn for a bit and um yeah i'll see you a little bit later all right so it took about an hour to render but at the end i got this so as you can see, it looks really, really cool. So the jittering at the end is actually VLC. Oh, that was weird. Yeah, that's VLC just being a little bit potato here. But as you can see, when I threw it into Camtasia and I posted it to Instagram and Twitter, it looks absolutely perfect. So I hope you found this useful and I hope you can use this as a way to upgrade your animations to make them look even more stunning. Well, with that, that's it from me and I will see you in the next video.